What is up, everybody? My name is JJW, and I am a Discord partner and the server owner of discord.gg slash umcoc, which I think you can see right there. Oh, it's, it's right there. Right there. Um, and uh, I want to share something with you. So uh, let's, let's see what's going on. Whoosh. Oh, whiskey. Oh, I love whiskey. What's this? What's going on here? Oh, oh, I got a box. I got a box in the mail from eBay. Oh, what's this? Got an eBay, eBay box. It's a package wrapped in newspaper. It says from TJ VINC on uh, eBay. It's Graham Nolan's Monster Island number one. From 1998, very fine condition. So very excited about this. I've been I've been back in Comicscape projects for the last year or two. Um, I have a bunch. I, I intend to make some videos and reviews about these things. But um, so Graham Nolan famously is one of the creators of Bane. I believe he worked on Bane quite a bit for DC. Worked for many many years in the um, mainstream comic book industry and. He's launched uh, last year, this in 2021, I believe this year, he launched Alien Alamo, a, uh, a, a Comicsgate, um, you know, uh, project on Indiegogo. So you can look up, go to Indiegogo. I'll put a link maybe in the description. Go Indiegogo and look up Alien Alamo. And he's, uh, this is his, uh, one of several Compass Comics projects that he's made. So I ordered Alien Alamo months and months and months ago, and it hasn't come in yet. And I also ordered the Chinu, which was an add-on to that. But I didn't know that I wanted this. Many, many years ago, Graham Nolan had a uh, Compass Comic. That's his company, Compass Comics. Had a Compass Comic project that he did called Monster Island. So uh, it was... Uh, Available on eBay, uh, issue number one. I have since learned that you can actually get a, a big fat collection. Oh, better drink that whiskey. Try, that's a nice Jack Daniels glass, but that is not Jack Daniels in there. I like my whiskey cheaper than that. That's uh, I think that's Ezra Brooks. So this is a uh, original issue uh, on number one, Monster Island from 1998. Uh, Grant, written everything by Graham Nolan. Uh, this is in great condition. This is this book is over 20 years old, and I leaf through the pages. I, I, I have leafed through the pages. I haven't read it yet. I've leafed through the pages, and the paper is immaculate. This has been kept in very good condition. You can see a little bit of like handle wear down at the bottom, um, but there's no folded corners. There's no staple creases, and the art is uh, gorgeous on the front cover, and the interiors look amazing also. The, the interiors are black and white. So let's go, let's, uh, hmm, do, do, we got a, we got our comics cam, there we go, activate, activate, there we go. So let's look at this thing, let's look at this together. Uh, I fully intend to buy um, the Monster Island hardback, hard, hard, or the collections, there's two collections by Omnibus, and uh, I'm also a definitely a backer of the uh, Alien Alamo project on Indiegogo. I should have thought of this in advance. I need to set up. Let me pull that page up. Okay. Don't need that. I'm JJW. Uh, I don't know where this video is at. It might be on YouTube. It might be on Rumble. Uh, wherever it is, please um, hit the like button or subscribe if you like this stuff. If you want to see more comic book openings and reviews, I have. Oops, that was loud. I have some that I haven't. Uh, maybe I should mute that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I have some that I haven't. Uh, 
done any openings for, I've read, are amazing. Uh, so I need, to, I need to do some. So this is Monster Island, number one, 1998. Now, there is a little bit of, uh, let me see if I can get in focus. It's not going to get in focus. There's a little bit of a dink right there, but the, the uh, staples, the sta there's no staple creases on the, on the uh, binding. This is a 48-page black and white comic. And for many of you, you may never own this or the hardback end, so you may never see it besides this. Uh, but this is art, art by uh, Graham Nolan, and it's really um, supposed to be sort of like a th uh, callback to the um, like creature feature flicks of the 60s, 70s, 80s, stuff like that. So this is on this is on uh, not the magazine paper that you find today. That the uh, the cover is printed on like double thick magazine magazine stock paper. Um, so that's quite quite good, but the interior art is on uh, uncoated, like um, classic comic book paper, and then the, and then it's black ink, and I believe it has oh I forget the word that they use for for that, but it's got that basically micro stippling for uh, for shade. So they're interpreting the sh the shades and as uh, as just those little tiny dots. So. Uh, the interior cover here is, it says, and th this is how I learned about it. I opened this up, I looked at this, I looked at a couple of pages, but I haven't, I have not read it yet. The interior cover is from Grand Nolan. It says, hello, adventure lovers, and welcome to Monster Island, the first of what I hope will be many projects released from Compass Comics. I've been in this crazy comic business for 14 years now, and I've had the pleasure of working on such great characters as Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, Bane... And a host of others. For me, though, there's nothing as satisfying as creating and owning your own characters. Working on this project has been a dream come true, as well as a wonderful learning experience. For you older readers, I hope Monster Island will take you back to Saturday afternoons watching creature features and building Aurora model kits. For you younger readers, I hope you will feel that sense of wonder, excitement, and surprise that comics used to have. Thank you for helping make Monster Island a success. Enjoy Graham Nolan. And, uh, P.S. Look forward to look look for Return to Monster Island next year. So I read that and I was like, oh, I've been I've been following this dude on Indiegogo for a year. I I, uh, I text him sometimes on Facebook or Twitter, and uh, and he responds to me. It's pretty it's pretty cool. But um, let me get my let me get the go go feed up here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause for just a second and, and go check out his. Um, let me add browser. No, not that. That's not what I want. Sorry, guys. I was ill prepared. I thought I was ready, but I'm not ready. We want a window capture. Yes. Here we go. But I do want to be in front of it because I'm, what do you call it? Vain. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll make this just a little smaller. That was the wrong thing. Okay, so this is the Alien Alamo um, uh, campaign on Indiegogo. You can go to indiegogo.com slash projects, gram-nolan-s-alien Alamo, or you can just search for Alien Alamo. This is, uh, I, guess it, I guess the project is still technically open, but he's about to fulfill, he's about to fulfill this, um, this campaign. So... I'm going to turn desktop audio on and play the trailer too. Nineteen fifty seven, the world is changing. You got Sputnik, you got some sort of a meteorite crashing. Texas. World War II vet Travis Houston. 
just wants to be with his family. They came, then came the meteor invasion. Okay, I think this guy's a, a Korea guy, maybe a World War II guy, I'm not sure. It's 52, so it's probably... Look at this model right here. Sam Elliott as the model character model for this character. I was already sold immediately. I was like, what? Yes, I love Sam Elliott. Creatures from another world that want ours. And that Houston's are the only thing in the way. This is the family of the Houston's. So I was, immediately I was like, uh, yeah, I'm back in this. I want this. You got, you got heroes in Texas battling monsters from space on their ranch with the shovel and a rifle. Yeah. So this is the next campaign from Compass Comics, written and produced by um, Graham Nolan. So if you've never if you've never backed a comic on Indiegogo before or any project that's a crowdfunded project, I understand your hesitation. Okay. So um, I tend to back projects that I have a higher degree of confidence in the creator. Let me just tell you this. This guy's got 126,000 uh, in 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 the bank, uh, you know, com raised for this project. Um, 123,000, sorry. From 1,800 backers, I've personally talked to this guy uh, on not on the phone, but chat m multiple times, and this project is happening. In fact, it's going to fulfill really soon. So if this, you find this even a little bit curious, you should go check it out right now and consider backing. So let's go through the campaign real quick. Compass Comics is a must-have campaign. I'm not going to read all this stuff. You can go, go check it out. It's 1957 and the Russians just launched, launched Sputnik into orbit. The world's changing and World War II veteran Travis Houston is struggling to adapt. I think that's this fellow right here. So he's probably in his like late 30s, maybe 40s, all Travis wanted to do when he mustered out of the Marine Corps at the end of World War II was find some peace and quiet and a safe place to raise his son, James. But the horrors he experienced in the Pacific and the death of his wife have left him empty and distant. So there's this meteor shower. So here's the first five pages. Uh, we have we have their the Alamo Ranch, their, you know, their property. Young boy sitting on his porch, staring at the stars with his dog, and something happens. His dad comes out. It's like he's just drinking a beer, maybe. Sorry about those dings. And then uh, down come the meteors. Oh, it's probably so exciting. Hey, Dad, let's go. Uh, wants to tell his dad about it. I'm sorry about those dings. And then, uh, and then it looks like his dad's falling asleep having PTSD dreams and uh, dreaming about his, his lost wife. So James and his dog, they're going to go check it out themselves, see what that stuff was. They get their horse, saddle up, get out there, and what do they find? So nothing good. And then, oh boy, this is just so, I mean, the art here, amazing. Okay, so not only do you get the... Um, comic you're gonna get a little bit of stuff so if you've again if you've never done uh, a um, campaign before or a, a, a an indiegogo or crowdfunding type thing before we'll go over we'll look at some of the packages that they're offering um, but you're definitely gonna get um, like trading cards you're gonna get bookmark you might get some other stuff so they have the book they have character sketches up here for you to check out and they have these stretch goals. We've wiped out every one of these stretch goals. So with um, most of your basic packages, you're going to get like all of this stuff, I think. So you're going to get a collecting card. You're going to get a bookmark. You're going to get um, col full color interior art. Unlike my monster island that's black and white, this is full color. And I think this is colored by Gabe Altieb from uh, formerly of DC Comics. Shout out to Gabe. Uh, there's eight, they added eight pages of story. There's uh, upgraded covers. So the covers on the um, Alien Alamo are going to have uh, cardstock with a matte finish. And then they added spot varnish to the matte finish. So uh, they're just going to be, these are going to look great. Alien Alamo sticker for everybody. 
version A covers will be signed by Graham Nolan. Uh, there's a patch, an Alien Alamo patch included, and uh, some sort of a creature sticker, and then he added uh, spot varnish to the variant covers. So here's the trading card, and I guess that's the back of it. And maybe there's a second one, I'm not sure. This is the bookmark. The variant covers have, so this is the, um, this is by Aaron Lepresti. Aaron Lepresti is doing Wraith of God right now on Indiegogo. Uh, maybe I'll put a link in that too. So this is cover B, Aaron Lepresti. And uh, it looks like you got the space monsters climbing uphill towards uh, the Houston family. And we got uh, this cover C by Butch Geis. I hope it's Bush guys. Look at this. This is great looking. And then you have uh, the art for the mini print. So sometimes they'll include like a, I don't know, a mini poster, half size poster, like 11 by 14 or something like that. I'm not sure. So here's, uh, this is the original art that you can purchase for. I think these are all sold to be honest. And then, um, he has some old Batman Bane art he may sell. He's sold. You can get a uh, Compass Comics um, t-shirt, hat, some things like that. So let's go back up to the perks and see what's still available. So for $50, you can get a combo pack of Alien Alamo and the Chinoo. The Chinoo is a, a previous project that he did, which is uh, some sort of like a, I don't know, like a abominable snowman type thing. I really don't know yet. That's This is the package I ordered. And so when this comes in, I'm definitely going to show show you show this off and maybe review it. So this is what I order. So for 50 bucks, you get that, and you get um, a Compass Comics sticker, and then all of the uh, all of the goodies unlocked in the stretch goal. You can just buy a gram of beer if you want. For 15 dollars, you can buy a digital copy. For 25 dollars, you can get the wraparound cover A. So, don't do the digital copy. Get the, get the physical copy. Comics are amazing. Comics are meant to be held in your hands. Comics on an iPad or your phone, it's not the same, guys. You want to hold these things. You want to smell the paper, the ink. Just, this is good. If you're going to spend 15 just spend 25 He ships it all around the world. You get the um, A cover by Graham Nolan which is front and back, kind of like a poster type thing. And then you're going to get the Compass Comics sticker and all of the goodies, stretch goal, stretch goal goodies. You saw the B cover. There's a C cover that is, uh, you've seen the color version. Up in the promo, he has the black and white, but it's the, you get the color version. It's, when he had it, he didn't have it colored when he set this up. Uh, it says this is a mock-up, not a finished cover. Okay. You can get ash cans of layouts and script. So the way Graham Nolan works is he does 10 pages of plots at a time. And I don't know exactly what kind of paper he uses, but he kind of like roughs it out 10 pages at a time and then goes back in and like does all the art. So this is definitely something you could, could, could also get. You would get the sticker and you'd get an ash can. Now an ash can is like a half size comic. So it's not quite as big as a original comic. So this is kind of an add-on, okay? You can get t-shirt and hat. You can get you can get the cover and an ash can. You can get Alien Alamo and Monster Island. You can get Mon whoop. Sorry, you can get Monster Island too. Oh, that did, that wasn't good. You can get Monster Island. You can see it's on my desk. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. You can get, for 90 bucks the Alien Alamo 3-pack, which is all three variant covers. You can get, um, if you're a comic book shop owner, you can get, uh, I think it's like five. So for, oops, oops, oops. No, 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 no. I'm going to have to clip that. I'm going to have to clip that out. Okay, so for... $112 if you're a comic shop owner, but you have to prove you're a comic shop owner. There's like a process. Um, then you can get um, five for 112, which is like 20 bucks each plus a little bit. And that leaves you some room to sell them in your shop, but you can get them in bulk. Okay. Uh, you can get a head sketch still. You can get the um, 
retail, you can get 10 for 200, so you get a discount. Uh, two, 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 two shops have claimed those. One, uh, one shop has claimed the five pack. And then you can get original art. This is, this is, let me tell you guys, this is art. This stuff is amazing. Uh, you can get original Batman art for 4,500. I mean, this is a page printed in an actual comic of uh, Batman. And uh, looks like some other perks are not available, but there was, there were perks where you could be a character in the book. There were perks where you could get some other original art. So that's, that's Alien Alamo. Okay. Gonna delete that. All right. So here we go. That's that. That's my. I'm doing a commercial for Graham. Graham. I don't know if you'll appreciate that or not. But uh, okay. Monster Island. Monster Island. Let's just check out a couple pages here, and I'm gonna put it here. So hopefully it'll be in as as much focus as it can as as it can be. Uh, it starts off with, uh, obviously a pilot named Duke flying a Navy, uh, jet and I mean, I wish I could, I wish I could force this to be in focus better. I don't think I have the ability to control the focus. Not any better. Okay. Flying the jet. Something happens. They don't know. Instrument failure. Eject, Mac, eject. And then he says no. And then, you know, whoosh. And then he actually crash lands this jet on the water on a beach it looks like like right on the shore of a beach right next to these giant rocks so it looks like it's skidding in and stopping so oof, lucky there oh looks like uh, the co-pilot was a female and so this is Duke and that must be I heard a song name earlier. It must be Mac. So it looks like Duke is being addressed from the left side, so the co-pilot, so the main character is Duke. And then Mac is being addressed from the front, so that's probably her. So she's Mac. So I think she's Mac. And this th this this paper is in phenomenal shape, 20 years old. Oh, let me mute the desktop now. And they land on some island and then like adventure ensues and there's a monster. And this is page eight, so this is just going to be amazing. So, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this out. I might do a review. And the back page, he was selling his own hats for Monster Island and Compass Comics. You can still get hats for Compass Comics. They're just beanies now. And the back page is uh, a wraparound cover, so I'm gonna fold that out so you can see it. So, without, without, without pre So there's a slight crease on the page and you can see there's a little bit of uh, a little bit of a defect on the corner there but this is a 24 year old comic so I'm totally okay with the condition it sends very very great very fine so I got this on eBay I'll um, I'm gonna leave a good review for the uh, guy on eBay let me show you one more thing
Here's my. Here we go. This is Amazon.com. If you go to Amazon.com and uh, search for Monster Island Graham Nolan, you can get Graham Nolan's Monster Island, which is a 96, 96 page uh, hardcover. You can get Return to Monster Island, which I read about in here. You can get Return to Monster Island, which I think is also a 96 page hardcover. And then there's also, I believe this is a soft cover variant. All three of these are sold by Graham Nolan. And I texted him and asked him if this was legit. So this is legit. So uh, if uh, for, for about the same price as I paid for this issue one, you can get the hardcover collection. It's uh, 96 pages. It's got bonus content. And then it might be this plus, you know, bonus content. So it may be the same content as this book plus bonus content. And then for uh, about the same price, you can pick up Return to Monster Island. And uh, he, he did this back in, I think, 2012, maybe. And it's also 96 pages. So it may be two issues uh, or three issues. I'm not sure. Because you can get a couple of issues of Return to Monster Island available from Om, Om, Omnibus, Ominous, Ominous Press. Omnis Press sells a couple of the singles. So there you go. Check that out. Graham Nolan's Monster Island. Return to Monster Island. Um, you can get a combo pack, I think, for 60 bucks. Saves you mm, oh, nothing. Um, check that out. That's amazing. And then, I, I re once again, please, check the link in the description below. Go check out, um, go check out Alien Alamo and uh, support, support these creators. If you love comics... If you love comics tangibly, like hold them in your hand, the products that I've gotten so far have been amazing. Um, so and so I vouch for Graham on this one. This is going to be good. So uh, go back Alien Alamo, and if you're interested in some more uh, Indiegogo um, projects, because when you're supporting a creator on Indiegogo or on uh, maybe Kickstarter, there's a couple other platforms, you're supporting directly the art team and the writing team and the, the creative team that are making that book. There's no overhead for edit for editors, assistants, interns. Um, so the creators that are making the stuff you love are getting your cash, and that's their job. So that's the... Uh, that's the I've been pretty disappointed with Marvel and DC and other comics companies for the last couple of years. Not real. Not a real phone call. And uh, if you if you love comics and you want to support the art, you don't only have to buy comics from DC and Marvel. You can support creators directly. Indiegogo is a great great platform for that. There's a lot of stuff that you can search for over here, a lot of interesting books. Um, but Alien Alamo, I totally vouch for this. This is good stuff. So go go, uh, go support that. And then if you want, you can go, um, I'll put a link in my description below and you can see my contributions and you can see the books that I have personally backed, including Bad Medicine and Wraith of God and Monster MD. That This is an amazing, amazing book. So I'll do some. I'll probably do some more videos on these as they come in, uh, and as I get them. And if you like this and you want to see more stuff like this, please uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.